I'm Kathleen Elkin, senior money reporter at CNBC Make It. And over the years, I've done a lot of experiments to see how I can make, spend, and save my money differently. From going cash only, to quitting my gym membership, to giving up restaurants. But there's one thing I simply refuse to do, and you shouldn't waste your time on it either. It's the B word, budgeting. I've found that it's possible, preferable even, to live my life without using a strict budget. And it's super freeing. So how common are these budgets anyway? Let's find out. Kelly, do you use a budget? I do not use a budget. I do not have a budget. Budget? You mean the app? I use the budget. I don't know. I thought everybody used the budget. I didn't budget. <laughs> I just spent. Even if it wasn't my money, I spent. I do not know how much money I spend every month, and actually I'm scared to look at my bank account. People just go out and spend whatever, whatever all the money they make. You gotta have some type of budget. My fiance <laughs> suggested that I use a budget. Debt made me change, funnily enough. Yeah, being in debt, having to pay it off, and then budgeting heavily. <laughs> wow, so a lot of people really do use budgets, but are they just wasting their time? Here's what personal finance expert Ramit Sadie has to say. I am so sick of people telling you to keep a budget. I know half the people who are out there telling you this advice, they don't even keep a budget themselves. Let's get real. Hold your horses, Ramit. I think we gotta back up a little. So what exactly is a budget? A budget lays out your spending priorities. It divides up how you're going to spend your money between mandatory things like bills and discretionary things like coffee. And it often makes us feel bad about our spending, but maybe we shouldn't feel bad. Take Fallon, for instance. She's a dancer slash waitress who fits coffee into her monthly spending and still lives comfortably in New York City. Coffee is my big splurge. I usually probably spend $100 a month at Starbucks. So Self-made millionaire and master side hustler Grant Sabatier agrees. I've always hated budgets. I never wanted to do that type of deep dive. And I also think they reinforce a scarcity mindset. The entire personal finance industry tells you that you need to cut out your latte or that glass of wine. But it's often those small things that make us the happiest. Five or 10 or 20 or even $100 here or there, it's not going to make or break you. Let's see what our friends in New York City spend their money on. Restaurants. And alcohol. I buy five dollars worth of Starbucks every day, and like someone really made me feel bad by calculating it up for the whole year, and I think it was twelve hundred dollars. But like at this point, I don't care. I need my energy. Over a hundred dollars a month on rideshare services. Or sometimes I go over my budget. Let's we have a savings account for you know to kind of make up for it. Finance experts agree that budgets are just plain unrealistic. At the end of the month, you look back, you feel horrible, you feel guilty, you realize you overspent. And then what do you do? You say, screw this, I'm not gonna do this anymore. They're not fun at all. It's like having a diet. So even when you go on them, often you fall right off within two to three months. Deanna owns her own marketing agency and is always thinking ahead. Every dollar I spend, I think of how I can make like $3 to cover it, you know? And that's always in my head. I buy a purse for 200 and I'm like, where am I gonna make $500 tomorrow? On the flip side is someone like Trevor. He's a test prep instructor in Cambridge and gets a thrill out of never spending money. I don't really save up for goals. I, I just save. Like my default mode is saving and I only spend money when I like think I need to spend money. I eat a lot of meals from Trader Joe's. So here's what I do instead of budgeting. I track all of my expenses every weekday, but I don't deny myself things I really care about, like running races and traveling. And I'm not the only one who does this. I've been recording my expenses for about um, 25 years uh, on a spreadsheet, so uh, I could probably tell you what I've been spending on, on most activities for the last, uh, last two or three decades. Just keep housing, transportation, and food as low as possible, and then go out to that basketball game, go grab beers with your friends, go get that manicure, pedicure, because those are gonna be the things that make you happiest. It doesn't save me money, but it, it makes you feel better if you record it afterwards. What you find in the real world is that what works is saving money automatically. Okay, yes, this is what I do. I've already set up automatic contributions to my savings accounts, investments, and vacation fund. And by tracking my expenses from big ones like rent to small ones like coffee, I know exactly where my money is going and I'm less likely to overspend. Setting a dollar amount on things like groceries just isn't gonna work for me. And the best part is I never feel guilty spending money and you shouldn't either. I always feel guilty spending money. I feel guilty spending money just because you want to be saving for your future, but you never know what's going to happen, so I guess you have to enjoy it while you, 
can. Spend wisely. Don't spend incorrectly. Take care of your priorities first. Here's what you need to remember. Don't bother budgeting. Do keep track of your spending. Set up automatic savings and then spend without guilt. I'd have never believed in um, denying yourself little pleasures because um, I know lots of people who uh, go to the grave with um, vast fortunes and um, you certainly can't spend it there.